we play sometimes, like the Motown and Motown. Right. I don't. I don't know what I got for oldies. Let me. Uh, let me load up the file here. Stall a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Let's see what oldies. We got the Michael Jackson there, and some Elvis is in there. We Stevie do, Wonder. Uh, hmm. We could do. Uh, I got it. We'll do this one right here. We'll do Run Around Sue. Oh, that's a bad one. I know it's a bad one. And I'm gonna do it just, I'm gonna do it just for you in the uh in the commercial break. All right, man. Here it here it comes, baby. Oh god. All right guys, we'll be back. And right around. <laughs> You're listening to W Z R radio with Matt Boone and Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this. Oh, my baby now. Matt Boone was cracking. We're live back W Z R radio special Monday night telecast. Telecast broadcast here on WZROnline.com. You got me before on that bone a couple weeks ago. I had to explain. To, I had to explain to this guy. He, he put a, a headline out that said something like WZR Radio, which don't get me started on that because I don't know what I don't even know what that stands for. And, neither, and, neither do I. <laughs> and the R and it has to stand for radio, so you're saying WZ Radio Radio anyway. But then you say WZR Radio Telecast Time Change or something, and I said, bro, you realize. That's why there's another word called broadcast, because telecast is for televised. Yes, telecast is for TV, and yeah. broadcast is for radio, blah, blah, blah. Broadcast is for anything that isn't, you know, you can say yeah. broadcast for TV, too. So what do they call it for radio? What would it be? It'd be you would say radio broadcast, yeah. Radio broadcast. Or you broadcast. could say television broadcast, but you can't say, you can't say radio telecast. Yeah, you can't. Radio telecast. Unless you're like Howard Stern and you're on E, you know, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's got that show on. He still have it's, on that. it's on on demand now. I figured people would remember the E show though. Yeah, he doesn't still have the E show, but it's on. The no, 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 it's on. Yeah, he's got a whole channel on on demand now, which is much better. All right, no doubt. We've got our. Uh, we've got a. By live the way, I on, on, on Howard Stern today was Quentin Tarantino. I'm gonna be listening to that as soon as we're done here. Quentin Tarantino. Quentin, Quentin he's got that new movie with the Nazis and Brad Pitt and all that. Uh, I haven't heard from him in a while, man. Quentin. Tarantino. Yeah, that's his new movie, man. He, the last one he did before this was uh, Grindhouse, I think. And before that, you know, he did Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs and, and all those good movies. But um, he's got that new Nazi movie coming out, and he, he's a he's a controversial dude. So I'm looking forward to that one. If I said radio cast, would yeah, that work? works. That works. All right, no doubt. Little Wayne Twenty. I don't think it's a real. I don't think it's a real word, but it's like one of those internet words people use. I think. Wow. Well, like web, like webcast. Basically, just don't use telecast. No telecast, not for real. <laughs> All right, wzronline.com forward slash chat. Had to uh, shut the guests off tonight because uh, I got one scumbag that uh, wants to spam the chat tonight, so uh, we have to shut them off. But uh, go to talkshoe.com and uh, register yourself a username and password. You'll be set on a weekly basis if you like what you hear tonight, which uh, you probably don't because my voice sucks. And uh, this Tough, man. I mean, it's hot as hell in here right now. The voice. The second. Wah. Wah. <laughs> All right, so WZROnline.com forward slash chat. We're going to take a live phone calls right now as well. So if you call us up, the first caller that calls through will uh, put you through here. No, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne wanted to call, and I know that. Lil Wayne? What's Must that? He, uh, he does a lot of work for uh, for the website. I don't think he's ever called in. That's Are you ignoring me on purpose? What did you say? Mustache. Who? Mustache. Mustache. You don't remember? No. Come <laughs> mustache on. What? Mustache what? Think about it for a second. Mustache. The picture, there's a dog and a mustache. Come on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You're talking oh, about yeah. One, one bad guest. I said mustache. Facebook.com, baby. There you go. <laughs> people, people, no. inside joke. Bad inside joke, but it's... Bad inside joke. Nobody knows what the hell we're talking about. But that wasn't a very nice thing that uh, those folks did to me a uh, oh. few days ago. Not a very nice thing, but nobody knows what the hell we're talking about. So call us up live, 724 Call ID number is 30273, followed by the pound key. I talked to uh, Jose Rivera earlier today. And uh, he's doing all right. He's still doing the softball thing throughout. I don't the care. What are you telling me for? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just oh, talking. for the listeners? Okay. Uh, Little Wayne called in, by the way. He's waiting. Talk to uh, talk to Jose. All right, Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Let's find him. Little 
2020. You're live. WZ yes. on What's crack, man? I want to get your opinion on Kurt Angle. Well, first uh, of all, how you do? First of all, how are you, man? Yeah, thank, thank you for uh, for all the work you do on the uh, on the website. Big help. Lil Wayne 20 is a big help on uh, WZROnline.com. So I appreciate all the work you do for me, man. No problem, no problem. Lil Wayne. Right. Do you think this will hurt Kurt Angle's chances of a WWE return or an MMA career? Um, good question, man. Good question. What do you? We haven't talked about the uh, the Kurt Angle situation, Boone. Um, I guess we should kind of address that now. You actually Where do you called start? Up. Oh my God! I know, I know. It's uh, it's pretty crazy, man. We, you actually called me, or no? You know what it was? My, uh, I was out of here on. Uh, what is that? I was out of here. <laughs> I was out of here on uh, on Saturday. Sorry, little Wayne. I had to. Uh, Got to cut you loose here, but um, I was out on Saturday, and I got a call from my sister, who is staying here, and she said, "Hey man, you are, hey Ryan, you got a bunch of messages up on your screen saying Kurt Angle arrested." Da 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 da. So I called you up because uh, I figured you'd know, and you basically said, "Man, <laughs> you better come home <laughs> right now because because uh, this is a big breaking story," and that's exactly what I did. Got in the uh, car. Rushed back to the house, and boy, oh boy, man, this is um, this is a pretty wild story. Do you have it here in the? Uh, do you have it? I mean, I know the the basic gist of it, but um, do you have anything in the show file? No, I just put let's talk about it because I figured we would remember everything. I mean, you could just tell them the basic offense that that started everything. That that would be the starting point, I think. I got uh, a lot basic, of basically, what it appears, um, we posted the police report up on um, the police report taken out of Pittsburgh. We put it up on the website on, on Sunday morning, I believe it was. And uh, it appears there was a, a, a scuffle or, or some sort of fight, altercation between uh, Rocka Khan and Kurt Angle, <laughs> who, um, who've who been dating. In they were living together. Living together, but it's been off and on. I mean, Kurt that's, that's house- actually some confusion. Some people think they've been... That she's been out of the house for a while. Some people said they saw they saw them together recently, like as, as recent as at the Comic Con that just happened. So that, that that's one question mark. But either way, yeah. But the deal is that that Karen, although there's been reports that that Karen's been staying with Jess, da 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 da. Karen's been over it, Jess. But Karen has the house. Karen is currently living in the house in Pittsburgh that Angle owns. So basically, what it appears is is that Angle and Khan got got some sort of apartment or residence or a house together, had been living together, and it's been an off-and-on relationship. Kurt was back on the Howard Stern show a couple months ago where, you know, the guy was hitting on Robin Quivers, you know what I mean? So and this He was mentioned that he dated, a, a, he dated a wrestling chick and she was black. Right. He didn't say who, but yeah. Right, and said that they had split up and that he was now single and da 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 so he wanted a piece of Robin. And uh, she ultimately turned him down, I believe, right? She turned yeah, well, him. after the show, he, he tried getting her number, or he gave, him, he gave her his number. And, and they, they had some text messages. Yeah, something. they texted each other, and he asked her out if she would like to go out sometime, and she said right. no or something. <laughs> right, so, I mean, it had been an off-and-on relationship. Obviously, Karen and Karen and Kurt are, are done and, you know, beyond done. They've been done for a while. And the Jarrett situation came up with Jarrett and Karen. Karen had been at Jarrett's house, but it wasn't like, you know, maybe for a weekend or something like that. But she wasn't living there full time. So Angle and Khan had some sort of altercation at their uh, at their house on Friday night. And police told, or Khan told police that she was going to leave and go stay elsewhere for the night until things would go. The next morning, on Saturday morning, she was at a Starbucks. Um, she had already, she, at this point, she had already filed an order of protection against him, right? Well, she must have done that Friday night. Yeah, after, that's what I was saying. Uh, you know what I mean? After they had an altercation or whatever it was on Friday night. And I guess she had, she had pictures or something of alleged abuse. On her black um, yeah. On a Blackberry, right, right. So the next morning, I mean, the first thing I'm thinking to myself is, all right, it's it's six fifteen in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, this and that. So they, I'm thinking it was like an all night thing, you know what I mean? Something happened on Friday night and throughout the night, 
You know what I mean? It was a rough Friday night, <laughs> you know what I mean, where they were just up all night doing doing whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, Probably some, uh, I don't know, man. They say Angle is pretty out of control again, so who, who the, it was Friday. Right. I don't right. know, man. You know, and then uh, and then the next morning she was at a uh, at a Starbucks, and she, I guess she saw Kurt's car. This is all according to the police report. She saw Kurt's car, called the cops, and said, "Hey, this guy that I have an order of protection." Against. Well, she saw him. wasn't Wasn't he in like a, was it a shared car or something? Wasn't, wasn't he, she saw him fucking with her BlackBerry, deleting the uh, or what she thought to be was him deleting messages yeah, off she, of BlackBerry. He was in her car. Yeah. Okay. The there you go. Report. Yeah. So her phone must have been in in that car or something, and he was circling the parking lot outside of Starbucks. So he, so he whooped her old, ass. This is a big old see, gossip see, story. So he, whooped her, he whooped her ass on Friday, and then right. she took a bunch of pictures on Saturday morning for in case uh, she decides to press charges or something. He's in there trying to delete them. She calls the cops because she already has an order of protection against them. They come out, and then and, uh, you can pick it up from there. Well, no, yeah, and then they come out and they say, Kurt, what are you doing here? She's got an order of protection, and he says, I'm looking for a hotel. But you're looking for a hotel. <laughs> you don't in know where a hotel. I mean, <laughs> this is this is in your hometown. You know what I mean? So of all the hotels in and around the Pittsburgh area, you just happen to be in the same parking lot that the girlfriend that you beat the night earlier. <laughs> you know, she's there. allegedly. I mean, we don't even know if it's allegedly. Physical. That's true. That's true. That's it could true. be drug abuse. We don't know. Yeah, it could be anything. You know, All it I mean, said was but, pictures of abuse. It didn't say drug abuse, physical abuse, domestic abuse. It didn't say. Right, right. So she uh, she told the cops that, um, you know, she, he was deleting things, photos of abuse off the uh, off the BlackBerry that she owned. So it turned into a big thing, and uh, they searched Angle's car mm. and uh, found HDH and vials mm. and syringes and, mm. and all that stuff. Um, which he claims he has a valid prescription for, which he's going to have to obviously prove. Well, he hasn't course. produced one yet, right? But, I mean, everybody like Angle has crooked doctors that they could get a, you know. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, look at Michael Jackson, right? I mean, well, yeah, look at Chris Benoit. Look at anything. I mean, come oh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, celebrity status talks when it comes to getting drugs. You know what yeah, I mean? Especially With if doctors. you're in a, in a business where performance in, in your look oh, yeah. Is very important to to, to, your, to your compensation. You know, if you got to be big, right. you're gonna get you're gonna find a way to get the stuff. You know, right? Well, he claims that he's got a uh, a valid prescription for that, which he's obviously gonna have to prove in court. Um, court was originally scheduled for. Well, also tomorrow. he had the uh, he had the suspended license. Don't forget. Ah, that's right, suspended license as so well. He's definitely fucked um, for that one. That one. Well, even, um, his his attorney his attorney claims that on Saturday. The suspended license was set to be good. You know, everything was supposed to be good to go, pending some paperwork. But it wasn't, the right? License. <laughs> well, it wasn't when they ran it. Yeah. When they when they scanned the plates on the car, or when they. I don't the know. It's not a valid defense, and you know, you can't. Oh, I didn't know that no. doesn't work. Well, you got to give that. I mean, proven till innocent until proven guilty. You know what I mean? So he was proven guilty that. when they called it in and they said his license was suspended. That's when he was proven guilty. That's that's his fact. Attorney, his attorney comes <laughs> out. I mean, your license is only suspended for a certain amount of time. Wasn't it a DUI? What was it? It was a was, DUI. That's why he suspended the license? So. In the state of Pennsylvania, in the state of Pennsylvania, Which is where this one driving is. driving on a suspended license for a DUI, if you have a, if you got a DUI and then yeah, you're you were driving on me. a License. I mean, that's two months jail time, mandatory, mandatory two months jail time in the state of Pennsylvania for driving on a suspended license if it was suspended for a DUI. You know you can tell them back what happened in March of 2003, why why you know that's so good, that law? Yeah. When you not. visited Pennsylvania? Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, it's just, you've got to let him have his day in court. You know what I'm saying? Where Yeah, but if, it, the, uh, if it was, if it was, if it was Lance Storm, I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. But the fact that it's Kurt Angle, I I, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I will. But I'm I'm very uh, I question a lot of what I'm. You know, come on. Some. Well, Paris, hey, hey, if they could send Paris Hilton to jail for a couple of weeks or whatever it was, they could send Kurt Angle.